In this video, I'm going to introduce and explain basic XY graphs. So in terms of creating and using graphs, there's a number of reasons why we might want to do this. So in science and engineering, we often uh, record observations and try and make sense of them. And this will often include trying to understand how one measurement relates to another measurement. So for example, we might be interested in how quickly an object is moving. So we could measure the distance travelled by that object over time. And then we can examine distance travelled in relation to time to work out something about the speed of the object. So let's take a, a simple example where an object's moving at one metre every second. And we can record some information. So we can record the time, and we'll call that variable x. And then we can record the distance travelled, and we'll call that variable y. And as you can see, over time, this is indeed moving one metre every second. So zero seconds, it's moved zero metres, and then after one second it's moved one metre, and so on and so forth. Now we can plot this on a graph and plot the points like this, and then we can draw a line of best fit through those points, and the equation in this case is just simply y equals x, so the equation of that line is y equals x. Now in terms of some terminology for graphs like this, for these xy graphs, we've got the x-axis, which is on the axis pointing up like this, on the vertical, and then we've got the x-axis along the horizontal pointing across like this, and we also have this point called the origin, so this is where the y-axis and the x-axis cross each other at 0, 0. Now if we plot a line of best fit on our graph, then that line, as I've already mentioned, is called the line of best fit, and it has an intercept, which is the difference between 0 and the y value when x equals 0. So we can see that here. And then also we have the gradient, which is the rate of change of that line. Now in terms of the equation for that line of best fit, the general form is y equals mx plus c. Now we refer to y as the dependent variable, because that's the thing that we're measuring, and it depends on the time point that we're at if we're measuring something versus time. M is the gradient, X is the independent variable, so for the example we've just been seeing, that's time, so that's just, time just marches forward and we measure at different time points, so that's independent of what we're doing. And then there's the intercept C. So if we look at another example now, um, we can see we've got some data points, uh, so we've got time being measured here, distance being measured here, we can see that when we've started to measure, the object's already um, one metre away from the start, and then it's moving um, two metres every second after that. So, first of all, we can see that the intercept equals one. And then if we draw a triangle onto this graph, then we can work out the gradient. So the first thing is to work out dx, so there's a change in x. As we move from our start point on the triangle, we move across four. And then as we move up, we've got dy, the change in y, and that is 8. And the gradient is given by dy by dx, so change in y divided by change in x. So in this case, it's 8 divided by 4 equals 2. The intercept is 1. So our overall equation for this line is y equals 2x plus 1. Now taking a slightly different example, we've got something else happening here. We're starting at 9, and then we're moving back down like this. So the intercept is 9 in this case. Now when it comes to drawing on the triangle, we're going to start here, move down, and then move across. So to start with, we have to move minus 9 to get down here. So the dy is minus 9 in this case, because we've come from 9 to 0. So to get from 9 to 0 is minus 9. And then dx, we have to move across 3. And again, the gradient is given by changing y divided by changing x. So minus 9 divided by 3 is minus 3. The intercept we've already seen, we said, is, is 9. So we've got line of best fit, y equals minus 3x plus 9. If we just go back to our first example for a moment, we can see if we draw a triangle here, uh, we go, go across 4 and go up 4. So we've got a gradient of 1, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. The intercept is 0 because this line goes through the origin. And the equation is y equals 1x plus 0. But we wouldn't write in the 1 or the 0, we'd just simplify it down to y equals x. Just one final note then on gradients. If we have 
um, a line of best fit that goes up like this, then the gradient is should be positive. And if you've calculated it and it comes out negative, then you've done something wrong because that's always a positive gradient. And then in the situation where the line is going down like this, then that should always be a negative gradient. So again, if you've calculated this and it comes out positive, you've done something wrong in your calculation. So uh, something that slopes down like this is always a negative gradient. So that was an introduction and an explanation of basic XY graphs.